Hello! I'm going to do some clean girl makeup today. I've been watching so many of these videos and I wanted to try it myself. As you guys know, if you've seen previous videos of mine, I usually base my makeup looks off photos I find on Pinterest and mood boards that I make because I generally only really do my makeup to go out to an event. Today, I don't have anything to do. I purely just wanted to film this, which is so rare for me. Usually, I'll sort of kill two birds with one stone and film something before going out. But today, I just want to do some experimental makeup in a sense because there are some tips and tricks I've learned from watching so many of these videos as well as just showing you guys what I would do in general. So I'm not going off any type of Pinterest canvas or inspiration, which I'm a little bit nervous about just because I'm so used to it now. I've literally been doing it for the past few years now where I have just always referenced a photo. And so today I'm not going to. I like to use this hair clip. I think it was my mom's. It's one of the most wide hair clips and it's really good for thick hair like mine. I'm going to go with primer first. This is my Mini Pony Mini So Clear Refreshing Primer. I didn't even know that was from Mini So till now. I don't think I'm the original person who bought this, but it somehow ended up in my makeup pile. I just squeeze it onto my hand. My skin doesn't really work that well without primer. A lot of people say they use alternatives or don't even use primer at all because their skincare is enough to prep their face. But for me, I really like it. So I'm just gonna put it onto different parts of my skin. I'm trying to be really light with my makeup today, obviously because of the clean aesthetic, but also because I feel like I tend to try and overuse my products because I know that I'm not someone who wears makeup super frequently. So I always think to myself, oh, I'm going to be wasting these products sitting here in my drawer if I don't use them. So when I do do my makeup, I should use a lot of it. And looking at makeup tutorials, I just have to restrict myself because obviously cakey isn't good. And I feel like often I look a bit too powdery or just a bit too caked, like I can't blend in my makeup properly almost. So I'm going to use this rhombus to blend that all in. And this has now covered all my pores. So I find that it's just a really nice and simple primer and it just does the job. This e.l.f. concealer. I usually do foundation, but today I'm going to challenge myself to skip that step. I just go into my under eyes especially and I always do dots right next to my pimples. I have quite a lot of hormonal acne right now. Hopefully it goes away soon. I've been learning recently that the way to not make your under eye concealer crease is to use a beauty blender. This is obviously just the backside of one because it's broken. Next, I'm going to do bronzer. I use the Too Faced one. This bronzer was so hype when Adam bought it when I was in high school. Underneath my cheekbones. And I also sweep down and do my nose too. I generally don't really do the outlines of my face anymore. I tend to just stick to these parts. Whenever I overdo it with a product, I always sort of just use the other side because that side usually doesn't have product in it. And I'll just sweep it out. And the more you blend outwards and the more time you take, the less the product will be seen. So if you ever accidentally put too much, just do that. I'm going to use ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. My high school life was spent on ColourPop to do free shipping with my friends if we ordered enough. So this is quite a brown-orange colour, which comes on really natural, so I think this is nice for clean girl makeup. I'm also just going to do the under eye. So that the look altogether has a bit more dimension. Next, I'm just going to brush out my brows. This is the L'Oreal Skinny Definer Brow Artist. 
So I'm just also going to use the other side and draw it in. And now I'm just like giving it a little bit more color. Everyone's favorite step these days, which is blush. I'm using my Face Shop Single Blush and it is in the color Rouge Oriental. I'm just gonna use this brush and I sweep along it like this. I like to put my blush on quite a big area. So I'm gonna put it like that. Using the same technique to just sweep it out. I'm also gonna put some on my nose just the tip. Next I'm going to use highlight. So this is my Dior palette. I'm just going to use the top two colors and I will go along my nose and along my cheekbone. And a little bit over here. I also sometimes like to do just underneath my eye <laughs> and also just below and above the ends of my eyebrows. I also sometimes do this step which is using my Glossier brow pencil which is brown. I will actually use it as eyeliner. I find it sort of hard to follow my eye shape, so I generally do eyeliner really messy and then just blend it out with a brush. I'm just using this one. Now I'm just going to use my Bling Bling Eye Stick from Etude House, and I use this for the corner of my eyes. I put quite a large bit on and it gets really obvious at the start of my makeup, but obviously it wears off quite quickly, probably faster than any other product on my face when I do makeup. So I like to just start it off strongly and then it'll be off within the hour. I would do mascara if anything could be done to my lashes, but honestly, I've given up. I've used pretty much anything at this point, lash lifts, eye extensions, falsies and mascara and curling my lashes. None of them have worked, and so generally these days, I don't actually touch my eyelashes, even though I have a bunch of lash products. We're going to go straight to lips. I'm using my Dior. I've used this in so many videos at this point. I'm going to use my Chantecaille lip gloss. I'm not exactly sure if that's the brand or just the name of it, but nothing else is on it. This is the final look. Minimal amount of products compared to how much I usually use. It's really light on my face so far.